Hi, it's Michael, and I am back with another gallery. This is Zachary from Poen Gallery. And where is your gallery located, Zachary? We are based in Taipei. Okay. Near Songjiang, Nanjing. Okay. Yeah. And what's the history of your gallery? It's been a couple years. We're seeing a lot of galleries that are 10, 15, 20 years, even 30 years. Yeah, we've, um, we were, uh, sorry. Started? <laughs> we started um, yes. in t- uh, 2012. 2012, okay. Yeah, so it's been, it's been 10 years. Okay. Yes. And who are you representing at the show this year? Art. Um, we're representing Wu Xiji okay. this year at um, Art Taichung. Art Taichung, yeah. and the artist is here. Yes, they are. Yes. So yes. They're just in a kind of a meeting right now. It's a very busy day. It's Saturday. So Zachary, we've done the eleventh floor on the VIP day. We've done the tenth floor. We're doing nine today. And we've got a lot of busy people, and there's a big crowd, so we're trying to get as many interviews in as we can. Zachary, we're going to wait for your artist to be available. Not a problem. Yes. And then, is this the first time at Art Taichung, or have you been here every um, year? We've been here twice. This is our second time, Okay. I believe. Yeah. And how are you finding it? That um, this is actually my first time like, okay. uh, actually like, working for the guy I've just been you know, hired a few okay. months ago. Uh, but it's been, honestly, it's been very good. Like, yeah. the, the um, Taga has been very welcoming. Okay. Um, yeah. It's they've busy. supported us, they've supported us in every capacity possible. Okay. And the people are just amazing. Like, having a setting like this, it's yeah. just very intimate and people get to see the artworks up close. Yes. It's a very different environment in, um, you know, a hotel room yes. comparing to gallery space. It's yes. It's quite different. And, and this is what I keep saying yeah. as a Westerner when I say I'm covering an art fair that's in a hotel. Yeah, you don't really see that no. much. No, and but it shows you how you can hang up art so you've got some things on the mirror in the the background and we've seen some galleries are using even the window yes and you've got these pieces here on the headboard is this the artist who we'll be meeting later yes okay Um, so i can do like a very quick rundown yeah sure um, if so you could. Mr. Wu the mainly uh, does his work with oil pastels. Okay. Um. So there's a big problem with oil pastels. Very easily like smudged. Yeah. Yes. But um, what Wu does so well with the with the oil pastel is they, they they try and get the the powder into the um the little the grain of the fabric yeah, yeah, yeah so, the so it, it makes it looks like it's like it's a texture through. yes yeah it's a very unique texture a lot of people came in and saw it once and thought oh is it is is it a weed work or yeah, it, what's going on what's it looks situation? like fabric it is it looks yeah. like fabric but yeah. it's actually the the texture itself like if you look up close it's actually the texture the fabric of the of the canvas. paper itself, oh, okay. canvas itself. Right. It's it's not a canvas. It's on paper. And oh, we, wonderful. Yeah, and then we um uh, uh we pasted it on the the wooden frame. Right. Um, afterwards, yeah. So we're showcasing three kinds of works this this year. Um, these are there are two, um, main works that are titled Marin Waves. Okay. Um, all of all of the works are titled um with the series the, the series title of each year. So. 2023, that's Mirren Waves, and 2021, that's, this is um, Borders. Okay. And then we also have Mirren Waves over there, that's that's um, um, on the other side of the bed. Those okay. are actually watercolors. Okay. Um, we can have a look later, let's, let's stay on this. And side. these ones, what These are? ones are oil painting, um, they're uh, uh, Borders. Okay. Yes. And I love the frame as well, so you can still see the edge of the canvas. Yes, um, it was very much, uh, like, very hands-on in terms of like what he wants with you know how uh, his work should be showcased and presented right. to the to the viewers. So each frame were actually like like hand-picked by him. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. It's quite nice and it's interesting. We've seen a lot of art on the bed. And are these two pieces also by him? Yes. Um, they are like an ink drawing or something. Yeah, ink drawing. Yes. Yeah. Um, they are also. Uh, Mirren waves. Wow. Yeah. And it looks really cool with this wallpaper background. Yeah, it's quite like a, a, a interesting um, contrast. Yeah, it is yeah. a beautiful contrast. And then over here on this bed, you were saying these ones are watercolors. These are watercolors. Yes. And this is a more of a human figure. 
Yes. It's um, more of an obvious human. I guess there's some human figures in there. So. Uh, these are mo uh, so on this side of the bed's mostly just islands. Okay. Um, this is actually a specific island in uh, like off coast northern East Taiwan. Okay. Called Turtle Island. Yes. So the reason why this like is such a key thing in Wu's words because it's. Uh, it was based in Ilan, so right. north co coast of Taiwan. Okay. Uh, yeah, and and the human figures over here, uh, we can see that there's no the human figures have no hair, right. no like clothing, right. no significant like education, um, you know, piece on them. And, right. Uh, it's mostly like influenced by Zen Buddhism. Right. As uh, uh, Wu is a very like fervent uh, practitioner of yes. Zen Buddhism, and they actually incorporated a lot of the um, non-binary thinking into their works, and okay. that showcasing you know these human figures without without hair and clothing. And this you were saying is acrylic paint. No watercolor. no, watercolor. Watercolor. And this is with a, a pen marker? Yes, marker. Yes, so the um, outline. Show, yeah, the outline. Yeah, the that's the quite the interesting. Marker. And then these ones on the desk over here. Are They're quite, also the human figures, but right. there's a little bit of difference between the watercolor ones and the oil painting. If you look for, uh, have, um, if you look closely, you can see that the outlines are actually like much thicker. Yes. Uh, that's actually like a key uh, running thing throughout this work. Um, so, oh, minimalist. Expression. Okay. Yeah. So most of the contour of the face has just been absolutely minimized yes. and just yeah it's, it's but you can still see that it is different people there the slight difference in the line and then this one here is almost reminds me of like a Japanese Zen garden yes. with the sand and the tree or something yeah, this is actually a very interesting um, uh, aspect that you brought up about the, Jap um, the Japanese brand of like Zen Buddhist yes. thing. Yeah, because Zen Buddhism is very important in, in, in Japan and also yes. in like East Asia. Yes. But mostly, uh, like, I feel like Japan is itself is very themselves were very good at sort of showcasing this kind of like non-space, the, the in-betweenness between yes. nature between nature and human you know human with the capital yes. h nature yes. with the capital n the yes. space between the two yes and mm. it was kind of interested in that kind of non-space as well the, the, right. the sort of the distance between um the nature and human right fi figures and yeah the, the island sort of like um Wu talks a lot about the ideal right and the ideal as uh, islands is actually like not a very um like rare thing right but what we're interested in is between the now, the here and the now, and the futurity that the islands represent, right. and sort of like the, the 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 space between the two, and kind of the, the tension between um, the two. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. That, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And then these ones here is this the original fabric color or is this? Pack? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So okay. So, this so it's is almost like a muslin, like a cotton a very rough cotton you can see there's green it's actually a, a specific kind of um yeah it's a blend it's not cotton it's, no it's, it's, it's like a linen linen yeah. 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 yeah and then you can see it's got some almost like a skin tone but i like how it's used with the trees and other things as well and then some pen pen work here yeah and then these are quite beautiful as well up above so it's just all everywhere in the whole yeah it's, it's mostly geometric form um combined with the natural landscape that yeah. is something that's a running that is also a running theme within this the border series as you can see um, here the the cir circular lines and you know the rationalizing like like how it framed different landscapes that who um situated himself in yeah well you can see how they tie together there's enough a similar aspects that you can see how it's the same person from that bed to this bed to this yes. desk it's wonderful and is mr u available now yes um, uh just one second it's Michael and I am back with the artist here, Mr. Wu. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Beautiful work. And your helper here, Zachary, was great about explaining 
all of your work. What is your favorite piece right now that is in this show? Do you have one that is your favorite work? It's difficult. It's difficult. This one? Oh, just, uh, yeah, that one. This one here on the headboard is... Marin Wave 7. Yes. So Zachary was telling us about the, the faces and the features and how these tie in with these ones here. It, they're very beautiful. And congratulations, it's a beautiful show. I love it. And like I said, I think you've, you need to bring him everywhere with you, right? Uh, 老师为什么是这一幅是你最喜欢的因为这张画它除了表现它空间以外其实它是好几个空间的压缩跟重叠变成它其实已经进入一种比较抽象的概念那其实它是很实际的前后关系 Okay, so um, um, Mr. Wu said that it, um, the reason why this painting is his favorite is how uh, it's actually like different spatial like comp component. In, sorry, give me a minute. <laughs> and how they're it's different spaces like compact together, right? And uh, there are elements of um, abstraction right. to it that he really enjoys making the, the right. process of it. Yeah, and it's interesting because in some places it, this kind of tree figure is very plain and popping out but here you've got it layered with the mountain and the cloud yeah they're all they're all quite beautiful and it's so nice to see different stages from this to this and then different materials. Is there one material you uh, prefer to work in? Is it pastel? Is it watercolor? Is it acrylic? Is there one material he prefers to use? Uh, 还是一直在研究这个东西，因为这个油性粉彩，它因为像以前之我所讲，其实它的文献很少，而且真正研究油性粉彩的啊也很少。那油性粉彩最主要的问题在于它不容易保存跟掉粉，这个你应该知道。